Hello everyone, this is Ian. You're in the Mighty Hip studio and in front of me I have the Yamaha RY8 drum machine. I just purchased it for $30. I've been some, doing some research on it and there isn't a lot of info out there about it. So I'm going to go through some of the sounds and show you, you know, what it can do. If you hit mode and you hit press kit, it changes it. Right now it's saying stand, standard, ballad, rock. You know, it tells you what they are. So we're going to go through some of the sounds. Press the plus or minus to go through. Now we're at ballad. So after that, then you have the user. So you have a bunch of different user drum kits that you can create for yourself. And also, you can switch the pad bank. So we just went through the drum sounds. If you hit pad bank, what happens is it goes to percussion. So. Hit pad back, we're back in drums. Then pattern mode, hit mode pattern, and you can go through all the different sounds that you have in here. Hit play. Uh, let's page through. One of the reggae ones. So as you see it gives you as you see it gives you like the standard pattern and then it kind of runs through some variation so you can toggle back and forth. The other thing is it has this accent button. So these are not, you know, volume sensitive pads like say the RY30 which is over here. Yeah, you can like do I can make it super loud by how hard I press it. The um, This is not like that. You have to press the accent button. So I'm going to press the <clears throat> snare. And then I'll accent it. So you see the slight difference that you can get. 
there isn't much by way of editing the sounds. You can edit the pitch, the volume, the accent, and the panning on this thing. Um, not much else. It's great. It's got. I mean, I think it's a great device for thirty dollars. I can't believe that the prices drop so much for these things. But um, so say you want to mute your parts mode, press mute, and then you'll see um, B mute. So like, say I play one of the kits in here, one of the patterns. So if I press, so right now that is on, and if I switch it to off. Other than that, I guess what I could show you is, oh yeah, so there's this page thing. So what happens is once you go into something, so this is how you toggle the items that you, you know, want to change, but then like, say you go into balance, hit right, mode, page, and it shows you, it goes through all the different screens in there. So if I was on song and song mode, page, repeat, chain, if I was in the, Where's the MIDI? MIDI for external syncing, the channels. You know, and we want to assign different sounds to different spots. It, it's it's really it's really intuitive. Just simple. Tempo. Guess there are no pages in the tempo screen external in what you want to do with the external input pattern swing yeah how to copy your patterns transpose nothing in transpose other than that so we've pretty much gone through all the screens on it used you can get it I'm seeing it anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars 28 note polyphony the truth is it's like 16 note polyphony this RY 30 is 15 note polyphony so that means the amount of notes that you can play at the same time no sensitivity no pad sensitivity built in 1995 this was built in 19 well, I think it may have come out in 1994, but it was really released in 95. Um, this was 1991, the RY30. Um, small, the pros, it's small, good sound quality, easy to learn. You know, it's got MIDI in and out. It's got um, different parts to it, the drums, the bass, the chord one, chord two. There's a guitar synth inside of this, so you can plug a guitar into this and like kind of play like it can pick up single note, single notes, and it's like and it midis them, so it's great. Um, it's also got a guitar tuner, 15 drum kits, 128 sounds, but in any case, it's good value if you were to get one. So for this, just note that with the RY30, they say in the manual that it's, you know, 96 notes, like the precision of the quantize. But just note that that doesn't mean that it's per quarter note. That's not PPQ. This is actually 24 PPQ parts per quarter note and the clock in this and the RY30 I'm talking about. So it's not like, say, you're, um, you know, a lot of things are 96 parts per quarter note like my MPC or um, actually I think you can 
turn it to 96, but you can also put it up to like 960 or something like that, so it, it can get deep. But in any case, don't be fooled by this. But this, the RY30 is excellent. This is a drum synthesizer. And RY30 drum synthesizer. Over there, you're looking at the Boss DR5, which is excellent. It's got chord features on it. I have a Boss DR880, which is amazing as well. And what I tend to do is I use the um, MPC over there. And I see the beautiful thing is you can use the MPC, have it control different sounds in each one. So I can like play chords on this while I'm just using bass and snare on this. And why I wanted to add this is because then I could add whatever other sound I want to to the mix. So just MIDI out to both of them, to all these devices, and then have a keyboard as well. And now I can manipulate individual parts. Say if I just want this one to just do snares, program only snare patterns. This one I only want to do like chords, although this has like four different tracks on there. So I could mess with like bass keys and whatever. It's got a whole bunch of sounds in it. And then with this one, I could just have it do like the synthesizing of sounds. So, you know, $30, excellent value. Peace. Oh, maybe I should go through some of the sounds in the RY30 while I'm here. I know this is 12 minutes, sorry. Peace. Have a good evening.